Augustine Alaiwu. Um, I'm a technical sales engineer with GrowWat. Hello everyone, I'm Jesse. Uh, I come from China and uh, we are manufacturer of batteries. Hello, so I'm um, from Bharat Industries India. My name is Chukode. I work with Every Thousand Energy Company Nigeria. Uh, my name is Shola Dejo from Fibo Solar Nigeria. Uh, my name is Shitsu Balogo. I'm a staff of Nice Solar Technology Limited. Uh, my name is Ignatius Zukoma, CEO of IG Energy. Uh, my name is Agina Ezekiel, an after sales engineer for Seawater Energy, an OEM company that manufactures solar solutions. Uh, from the long term uh, calculation, solar power system is saving money. Yes, it's saving money, especially for north of Nigeria. We also doing some business in Kaduna, in Kano, in Jigawa, uh, Sokotu. Because of the uh, solar source is more power than uh, Lagos here. So the power of the solar will be helping on Nepal, by that area also. See, we naturally have a very good source of sunlight in Nigeria, being a country in Africa and also a hot country. So sun can be converted into the energy, electrical energy, which can feed the requirement of power to the peoples. That's why we came here with our products to store the energy. Uh, we can store up to 100 kb, even more, uh, to store energy for longer days. And even the areas where it is not able to set up electrical infrastructure, we can rely on renewable energy and store it and convert it and take in multiple applications. Yes, the energy sector in Nigeria, yeah, it's on a high rising level because generally, you know, Energy is a very important aspect of every aspect of life in uh, businesses and everything. And in Nigeria, currently we have this uh, unstable power supply from the national grid. Hence, there is a need for uh, other sources of energy to complement uh, whatever energy comes from the national grid. And renewable energy forms a good uh, part of these other sources of energy because usually the sources of renewable energy are free sources like the sunlight for instance and it's constant it's renewable so that is why uh, it is important that uh, nigerians think towards renewable energy and that is why my company has come with products that will aid nigeria to generate their own energy so you can go off grid. When the power situation is poor, we provide the solution for the power storage. When there is a power cut, our batteries give you the maximum output from the uh, from the system. So that in power cut situation, you can find the in uninterrupted supply of electricity in your homes, offices, and your working areas. Solar is the way. So you know. Once you have this, you don't have ones, you don't have problem with a uh, grid fall and all that, or the fear of a cinema, uh, ladder, all those things, uh, they disconnected you. No, 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 this is the best. Since I started using it, uh, I don't have issue. It's the best way. In fact, it's already helping because we have many people, many engineers that are already going off grid. They already abandoned electricity to opt for solar because one it is cost effective what you have to understand is that once you get solar you thinking of paying excess money because if you look at nigeria now the charges are just on bad a in nigeria they are crying because of the charges but now we have come to give them an affordable solar energy that you know with a little amount of money you can have access to electricity 24 hours in your house so very affordable and it's, it gives you peace of mind there are things like uh, the take of lights now i want to go and charge my phone you know you can charge your phone anytime you can put on a television anytime. You can use your house utensils anytime. At all convenience, without noise, without any uh, problem, or thinking of how to pay a certain amount in another one month, in another few weeks. So, so, solar energy is the best alternative for anybody that wants to actually reduce their costs on utility bills. Solar industry, they help us to reduce the carbon footprint, which is causing like climate change and other like disasters. So, and in the case of Nigeria, when we don't have like full-time solar, um, full-time energy supply, so solar, solar is 
always like the alternative for us to be using. And now we have like sustainable energy. So what do we think? Like, we don't need to like to be born in like for like fossil fuel and other thing that cause carbon emission and so using solar and choosing nice solar technology is the best option. A country even as big as America relies on solar energy. The problem is that our government is not going into it extensively. It is the solution to our problem. You cannot keep on relying on fossil fuel. It will finish one day. That's the truth. So I, I see it I see it as more than just a solution. I see it I see it as more than a panacea. That's a temporary solution. That's what a panacea is. I see it as the only alternative solution. The only solution we can have is solar energy. So I always tell people, get into it early. It's gonna get expensive. Get into it today. I would say renewable energy solutions have come to stay. There was a time when we were hoping that um, the power problems in Nigeria will be completely solved. We all had the idea of Vision 2020. And then 2020 came and we found out that we are still in the same position. Something had to change. We had to look for other solutions. We cannot co continue relying on the government. And so, renewable energy at that time was just coming into Nigeria. I remember setting up my own solar energy system um, in 2020, in the year 2020, and I was a programmer at the time working remotely for a company in the US. And after I did that, that was one of my goals for that year. After I did that, I never had power issue ever again that even my colleagues in the US we are really impressed and they were like oh we work with other people in the in Nigeria and a few times you have them you have these power outages when they are meetings but for me it was just like I have uninterrupted power supply and I did that was what opened my mind to oh this is an opportunity that is not just for me to use I was using it and I enjoyed it and after using it for two years I'm finding out that people still have problems uh, getting 24 hour power supply. I decided to delve in and solve that problem. The renewable energy has given peace of mind to both me and a lot of my customers who just after spending the initial investment to set up solar energy system in many cases do not have to think about power again in a few cases they can use power from the grid as a backup which seemed impossible at a certain time and so i believe renewable has come to stay because of the long-term peace of mind the ability to calculate your cost because i know that oh if i set up a solar energy system with this cost i can reduce my bill to just this certain amount in my house, in our office, IG Energy office, we are totally off grid. I don't know, I'm not sure. If you have passed through the third the recent time, all the lights there have been changed to uh, solar street lights. And when you pass in the night, it's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Unlike when we usually, when you have erratic power and you are passing through third land and everywhere is so dark. <laughs> so, solar power or solar generation is the place to go because it's renewable. It is, uh, at least as far as Nigeria is concerned, we are very sure that no matter what happens, there is going to be sun. <laughs> no matter what happens, in 24 hours, there is going to be sun. And so why can't we harness the power of the sun? It is free. It is available. <laughs> Almost every day. So I believe we can solve our problem. Yeah. I will categorically say that solar is the future of our energy problem. If we if we all harness solar, and because this in Nigeria in Africa we have more sun light, more hours of sunlight than what you have in the rest of the world, you understand? I will use my house personally, for instance. For the past two years, my house has been running on solar. I cut off the grid completely because the grid light that is coming is not even up to 220 volt. It keeps damaging my inverter. So I had to cut off the grid and I'm sitting on solar. With just four panels and a 3.5 kV inverter. And my house is a three bedroom house, you understand, but we are, we can manage our energy efficiently. What we need to do in Nigeria for solar to be the solution 
to our epileptic, epileptic uh, life problem is to teach people how to manage their solar system. Solar solution wasn't meant to solve problems. It was meant to actually reduce your cost of energy, reduce carbon emission, and reduce your energy bill. Or about 20% of Nigerian populations are completely out of darkness. Apart from even, I'm, I'm saying they've not even seen the, 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 the grid. Not to talk about those of us that has the grid, um, but there is no power on the grid. By either today, the grid is filled, or the even even the classification we're talking about, the class A, the class B, the class C, the class D, even the class C, except some exceptional places, even the bandy is not even enjoying the bandy level. So it now comes into here. Yeah, why do we have sun, and you are wasting if you can harvest it and use and it's to argument what whatever band you have is giving you. However, there is a caveat, there is a, a problem, and the problem is the capex. That is, the capital investment in solar is high. So we expect or we look, we hope the financial institutions, you know, the government will look into financing the uh, what called the uh, um, renewable energy um, sector in Nigeria. At the moment, Nigeria. Uh, really needs to move completely towards solar, looking at the fuel prices, looking at the electricity uh, problems that uh, the country has. And uh, we have brought in one of the products uh, which definitely suffice to the objective of moving the country to solar with uh, a price uh, which is not very, very high, cost-effective product uh, to move the country towards solar. When, when you look at the fuel here, and look at the electricity problems here. I think that uh, solar is the only way out to uh, help people uh, take, uh, you know, uh, take electricity uh, problem come out, uh, go out of the, go out of the, you know, window. And uh, solar actually makes it makes it free for the people to, you know, use electricity for all the purposes that they have to. And Nigeria looking. Currently, is really throwing themselves towards the solar, big time. So it's the right time to to move towards solar for Nigeria. So we are here, and um, very happy to solve Nigeria's power problem using alternative energy. And they have huge experience in the marketplace. I'm Don Pedro Agambi. I'll see you next time. <laughs>